All right, so here we're taking a look at the 2021 AP Statistics um, free response questions. This is from the first administration. I'll have a link to the file or um, in the description below, as well as any, um, any corrections I'll put in the description below as usual. The length of a stay in a hospital after receiving a particular treatment is of interest to the patient, the hospital, and the insurance providers. A particular interest are unusually short or long lengths of stay. A random sample of 50 patients received this treatment was selected, and the length of stay and number of days was recorded for each patient. The results are summarized in the following table and shown in the dot plot. Determine the five number summary of the distribution of the length of the stay. Okay, so when they say five number summary, um, we want the min, the Q1, Q2, or the median. We want the third quartile, and we want the max. Um, okay, so the minimum value um, is looks like um, five. The distribution of the length of the stay. So you're, you're doing not the number of patients, but the lengths. Okay, so Q1 is the first quartile. Now we have a total number of 50 patients. That means each quartile each 25% is going to be uh, 50 over 4, which is 12.1, uh, uh, 2 point, yeah, 12.5. 12.5 people. So we need to count up to 12.5 people and see. So in terms of length of stay, so 5, there's 4 people here. We need to go up 8 more people. Or you, you can think of it counting it this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the 12.5 is going to be here. So that's going to be 6 days. The median's the center point, so that means we need to go up to 25 people. And 25 people, or it's like halfway between. So that's 17, 31. It's going to be like 17, like these dots are 17, so the 25th one is going to be somewhere in here. So that's going to be 7. The Q3 is going to be 12.5 people from the very top. So if you think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, the 12 or 13 is going to be somewhere in here with the 8. And the maximum is 21. So that's our five number summary. Um, I think that's what they mean by that one. Um, yeah. I'd have to double check my terminology. I don't know if they mean IQR and stuff like that. But I, I think this is the normal five number summary when you have something like that. Uh, consider two rules for identifying outliers, method A and method B. Let method A represent the 1.5 IQR rule and method B represent the two standard deviations rule. Using method A, determine any data points that are potential outliers and the distribution length of stay and justify your answer. So IQR is equal to uh, Q3 minus Q1. And so that's 2 in this case. So 1.5 IQR is equal to 3. 1.5 times 2 is 3. And so we're basically looking at anything that is beyond 3 beyond Q3. So if I look at Q3, if I look at the bounds, if I do Q1 minus 1.5 IQR, it's going to be 3 below the Q1, which would be uh, 6 minus 3, which is 3. And if I look at um, 1.5 IQR above Q3, it's going to be 8 plus um, 3, and that's equal to 11. So anything outside of the range 3 to 11 would be considered an outlier, and that means these two are outliers because I have a 12 and a 21. So potential outliers of uh, of um, 12 and 21 days are outliers because they are above Q3 plus 1.5 IQR. Um, sometimes we call this the fence, the upper fence, the upper fence. Okay, so those 12 and comma 21. So those are those are the outliers. The mean length of stay for the sample is 7.42 days with a standard deviation of 2.37. Using method B, determine any data points that are uh, that are potential outliers. And they said potential outliers were two standard deviations rule. That means if we're b beyond two standard deviations from the mean. So if we do 7.42 plus or minus two times the standard deviations, we're talking about a range of 7.42 minus 2 times 2.37, which is 2.68, to 7.42 plus 2 times 2.37, which is 12.16. Okay, so the only outlier 
that's outside of this window is the 21 days is the outlier because it is outside is uh, beyond two standard deviations from the mean. Okay, so this one only showed us 21 days as the outlier. It said the 12.16 was not an outlier. Explain why method A might identify more data points as potential outliers than method B for a distribution that is strongly skewed right. Well, um, the first thing the first thing I would probably say is when you have a strongly skewed right graph, the mean is going to be shifted to the right. So the center point we're talking about is not is 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 shifted right more compared to like say the median or where the Q3 and Q those are sort of more resistant to uh, the skewness of the graph. So I would say the mean is more sensitive to outliers than uh, Q1 or Q3. Um, that's just more sensitive and and uh, will be skew you know uh, will be shifted right. due to the right skewness. This will shift the center of the shift the center of the um, the interval. That's one thing I would say. The second thing I would say is that the standard deviation, so so IQR is more resistant to outliers because IQR is about the range of values. Like if I add another outlier out here, it has a very little impact on the IQR. So the IQR part of the fence doesn't isn't isn't shifted very much by outliers, but the standard deviation is influenced more by outliers because it's an average mean. So like um, the other thing I would say is the standard deviation is more influenced by outliers than the IQR. Thus, the, um, the, um, the skewed right values, or the, the outliers, the, the extreme values, we'll say the extreme values, will give a wider interval, larger interval, when based on on standard deviation. So I would say both of those two points are things that would affect the fact that the fence or the range of, of what is an outlier is now larger. One, because the median tends, to, the mean is shifted right Okay, and then the skewness becomes becomes larger, or not the skewness, the standard deviation becomes wider, or the range becomes wider, because the standard deviation is more influenced by those larger points than, than the IQR.